if you want to go on a personal sexual healing journey, here are the big things that make it transformative. One is conscious touch. I had to learn how to like touch myself and every inch of my body as if I was touching the beloved. How could I treat myself as if I were the beloved? How would I touch myself as if I were a goddess? And so touch became a, is a very, very important aspect of coming into our body and loving ourselves the way we want someone else to love. And then I had to think about my thoughts. What were the words that I would say to myself? Well, I knew a lot of mean words I would say to myself. So I had to develop a voice that would talk back to the mean voice. And so there was another way of like, how would I use my words and my thoughts to worship myself? You know, and I had this idea and I think, I mean, I imagine that lots of other women feel the same way and I imagine men do too, is that deep down it's like, this is what I wish someone would just tell me so that I could believe it. Tell me that I'm lovable. Tell me that I'm beautiful. Tell me what you like about me. Tell me that I'm clever. Tell me that I'm smart. What's the, my, what's your favorite feature? Tell me why you can't live without me. You know, it's like I wanted to be spoken to in a certain way that would help convince me that I was beautiful and lovable and smart and clever and worth being loved and cherished. And I didn't realize how powerful that was going to be. And I just decided I am going to skip the middleman. I am sick and tired of waiting around for someone to say these things so that I could believe them. I'm just going to tell myself. And of course, I didn't really believe them. Right? It was like bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But I kept on saying them and saying them and saying them until I could start to believe them. So that was another thing is like, how do we speak back to our mean thoughts? And then the two hardest things was making sound and breathing. That's like, these are the two big transformative game changers.